Our Lady told St. Catherine Labor that the miraculous medal must be given to the whole world and to every person. Give the gift of a miraculous medal this Christmas season. To purchase a miraculous medal evangelization pack from censusfidelium.com, click the link in the description. Meditation 18, Third Wednesday of Advent We should hope all things from the merits of Jesus Christ. He that spared not even his own Son, but delivered him up for us all. Romans 8.32 Consider that since the Eternal Father has given us his own Son to be our mediator and advocate with him, and the victim in satisfaction for our sins, we cannot despair of obtaining from God whatever favor we ask of him. If we avail ourselves of the help of such a Redeemer, how hath he not also with him given us all things? Added the Apostle. What can God deny us when He has not denied us His Son? None of our prayers deserve to be heard or granted by the Lord, for we do not deserve graces but punishment for our sins. But Jesus Christ, who intercedes for us and offers for us all the sufferings of His life, His blood, and His death, does indeed deserve to be heard. The Father cannot refuse anything to so dear a Son, who offers Him a price of infinite value. He is innocent. All that he pays to divine justice is to satisfy our debts. And the satisfaction he offers is infinitely greater than all the sins of men. It would not be just that a sinner should perish who repents of his sins and offers to God the merits of Jesus Christ, who has already superabundantly atoned for him. Let us therefore thank God and hope all things from the merits of Jesus Christ. Affections and Prayers No, my God and my Father, I can no longer distrust thy mercy. I cannot fear that thou wilt refuse me the pardon of all the sins I have committed against thee, and that thou wilt withhold from me the graces necessary for my salvation, since thou hast given me thy Son, in order that I should offer him to thee. Thou hast given me Jesus Christ, on purpose to pardon me, and to render me capable of receiving thy grace. And thou hast commanded me to offer him to thee, and to hope for salvation, and from thee for his merits. Yes, my God, I will obey thee, and I thank thee. I offer thee the merits of this thy Son, and through them I hope for grace to remedy my weakness, and all the injuries that I have done myself by my sins. I repent. O infinite goodness of having offended thee, and I love thee above everything, and from this day forth I promise thee to love none but thee. But my promise will be of no avail if thou dost not help me. For the love of Jesus Christ, give me light and strength to accomplish all thy holy will. Trusting therefore in the merits of Jesus Christ, I hope that thou wilt grant my prayer. Mary, my mother, and my hope, I beseech thee also for the love of Jesus Christ to obtain for me this grace. O oh, my mother, listen to my prayer. Amen. <laughs> 